Hey guys, it's Ryan here with Hobbies of Man. Once again, and today we're doing our TBR video for the month of November. And this might end up being an anti-TBR because uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know what I wanna read this month. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, uh, you'll know that uh, my dog died last week and that's been really harshing my mellow. It's made me feel very shitty this whole week. And uh, I've been reading a lot because reading brings me comfort. Uh, and thankfully last month, uh, the last couple weeks of October, I managed to be interested in stuff that I had already put in my TBR. Um, but right now I'm just kind of floundering um, to decide what to do. That's also why this video took so long. It might come out before the end of the first day of November. It might not, I don't know. Um, partially, I just didn't feel like recording because I just wasn't in the mood. You know, today's a uh, day of the dead for Mexican people. And that means that we, uh, decorate these little altars and do a little bit of like uh, ancestor worship, I guess you could call it something similar to like how Japanese people have uh, little altars in their house for people that have died. Same kind of concept, but uh, Mexicans only really do it for uh, certain days of the year, right? Uh, and so today, this morning, me and my sister made one for our dog and for my grandpa and for um, my grandma and some uncles that had died in the last couple of years. And so it was just kind of, uh, it was meaningful and, and valuable and, and good. And uh, we're happy with uh, how it looked, but uh, it's also just uh, draining, right? And so I just didn't feel like recording anything, but um, I also feel like I'll be upset about it later if I don't record anything. So here we are. Um, I don't know what theme to go with this month. Uh, I don't want to do anything random either, but I think that's what I'll end up doing because you know, for a long time, I had been thinking about doing like a historical fiction kind of month, right? I wanted to read um, the first book in the Ma Master and Commander uh, series and Outlander and uh, a bunch of stuff like that, right? And I had uh, some historical fiction comic books like War and Peace uh, and uh, like an adaptation of the Leo Tolstoy novel and uh, some, some stuff called The Scorpion by Enrico Marini, who's an artist I really like uh, that I bought over the last couple of months. And I had some historical fiction manga, right? I had Bright Story and I have um, some uh, some samurai ninja type stuff, um, like Lady Snowblood, right? So I thought maybe that was uh, the right move, right? To do something like that. Then I also thought about what if, um, what if we do something about food, make it a food month because it is Thanksgiving this month. It's like the big holiday. And um, I thought about that and I do have a few different food manga, but I don't have any food comics uh, because I'm pretty sure there are no food comics. Uh, it's not a genre that uh, is all that popular here in the States, uh, at least in comic book, comic book form, right? So um, that kind of went out the window, although I might still read some of those anyways. And then I've been thinking about uh, doing some sort of like action oriented kind of thing, right? Read some of those James Bond novels that I have, read Spy Family and read uh, this other book called Lady Killers by, or Lady Killer by um, Joel Jones that I just bought last month um, that I basically got for free due to uh, Walmart fucking up my order a few times in a row and just uh, giving me the money back for it, right? But um, the thing is that uh, it feels a bit heavy for, <laughs> for my taste right now. And although Spy Family is a good read because it's more or less a slice of life uh, story with some spy action type elements, um, I'm not really sure that I wanted to read that this month. And that's not really enough for a whole month of, of reading, right? So that's kind of what I ended up kind of feeling. And then with uh, with the fact that my dog passed away, I wanted to read stuff about pets, um, but I don't have any books about pets. Uh, not anything that is like directly about pets. Um, I have one uh, called Kraken Rider Z that I just finished this morning. Technically it's not about a pet. It's about a boy and his dragon, which actually happens to be a kraken, uh, going through their life, right? And so it's about a boy and his pet um, in the broadest sense, but uh, it's not just about that, right? And I thought it was a great way to kind of deal with uh, some of my, my grief, my sorrow the last couple of days. So um, I waited until it was November to finish it and I'm happy I did. Um, but uh, that kind of leaves me uh, kind of confused about what to do now, right? So I don't really have anything that I'm going out of my way to read, right? And then I also thought about something uh, magic related, right? I think winter is always um, when fantasy makes the most sense to me, right? It makes more sense for 
for for fantasy to be in the winter and for science fiction to be in the summer for whatever reason right even though i mostly read fantasy right and so i thought about that and i i read a scotty young book last month so i thought about reading middle west right uh, and i actually i think i have it with me i have the full collection here i think it's 18 uh, issues and i bought this i actually i can't remember if my sister bought it for me or my parents got it for me for my birthday uh last year the year before that uh, but you know i thought about reading it um and I, I do think that this is probably what i'll end up reading this month but uh 18 issues is not that much i'll pretty quickly read through this if i set my mind to it so i need to read other stuff right so i think uh, well I'll, what i'll end up doing even though i don't really want to is combining all of those different themes that i kind of mentioned into one right and just kind of having all of these different books available to myself and just picking and choosing whatever I feel like out of the, the bunch. And I might end up picking stuff that isn't related at all, right? Like maybe I'll read Twig uh, by Scotty Young, uh, or maybe I'll read The Eternals by Jack Kirby, or maybe I'll read Wonder Woman or whatever, you know, something else. Um, um, maybe I'll read Dan and Dan, I don't know. But uh, I do want to at least kind of commit myself to reading Middle West um, out of all of the different books that I have in my collection, right? Because uh, it's just been sitting in my bookshelf for a long time and I think it's uh, it, it deserves to be read, right? Also, this boy has a little pet uh, canine, so uh, that makes me feel a little bit uh, better, right? So um, yeah, you know, I might end up reading novels all month, I don't know. I, I do need to read uh, light novels uh, and I just have not, so that might end up being what I choose to do this month, but uh, who knows, to be honest with you, I have no clue what the hell I'm gonna read. I just know that I, I don't know what I want to read. Um, and I'll just probably end up picking up something randomly and just going with it, right? So, um, yeah, that's that's all I have to say. So, yeah, sorry, this is not really a TBR video. This is more of a anti-TBR video. Um, but hopefully it, um, it works out, right? So let me know what you guys do when you're kind of in this sort of situation when you don't really know what you want to read. They just randomly grab something off the pile and then just kind of shift through it. Uh, through through all of your books uh, until you find something that you do want to read or what do you do? How do you get out of a slump? Uh, I'm not in a slump, but uh, you know, kind of basically I am, uh, even though it's more because of more choices available to me than less, right? So yeah, let me know down in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later.